This is Code.org. I'm working on our Mad Libs project. Let's uh, see what we're doing now. Update the text area with your Mad Libs outline. When figuring out, I'm on part 11, right? We just designed it on the last part. When figuring out how to make a program, it helps to break down into smaller steps and test your program true. So rather than jumping straight into getting the user input and concatenating it, don't be scared of the word, we'll talk, with your Mad Libs outline, start first by just making sure that you can get your Mad Libs outline to appear in the text when the next button is clicked. That makes sense. But wait! If you set text and pass the string of your Mad Libs outline, it will look like your screen on um, it will look like the screen on the left. Ah, uh, yes. Where it's all smushed together. You can use one more new line character slash in a uh, line break in your string to create a line break. That is good. We will do this. When the next button is clicked, you already switched to screen two. Now you should also call set text on the text area on screen two to your Mad Libs outline. Ah, see the image above for one way to temporarily handle the word placeholders. Oh, I see what they did. Okay. So, add the new line. Got it. Okay, we can do this. Variables. So, I'm going to use a variable to create my text. Uh, it will be a global one, right? We learned about global variables. I'm going to place it up here. And I'm just going to call it... I, um, text. I know, creative. And so the text other than... It's going to be a noun. And then R. And then an adjective. Is, and then a comma. Oh, it's mad at me already. I need to put quotes around these for it to be a string. And it's mad now because I need an ending quote. And then another noun, R, adjective. You might be noticing a pattern, comma. You love me and I love noun. Exploration point. Oh, I went off screen. Oh, I did an extra coat. Oops. Okay. So I got mine all together here. Oh, where would I want line separations? I want it after... Boom, boom. Let's test out this new character we're learning. Boom, boom. And then... Add the new line character... set text so when the next button is clicked you already switched to screen two but now you should call set text okay so when next is clicked we are going to call set text so on next button we'll set the text here i guess above it and then mine i named result area Result text. Yep. Okay, result text. We don't need quotes, right? We're not going to output a string directly. We are going to output a string. My string's called text, the variable called text. So let me go ahead and test. Hopefully this will look for a click on the next button right there. Once it is clicked, it drops down, runs our function. It looks for anything with the ID result text, which would be the result area. And it sets that text equal to text. Oh, wait, what's text? Da, 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 da. This. So this becomes the, the text displayed in the result text box. It then switches the screen to that result screen. Let's test. But, uh, oh, poetry. Awesome. What are their eggs? Oh. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Um, so we got that covered. Let's, uh, we're going to just keep going with our project.